Hey everyone, it's Dominic, the Primetime Treasure Hunter. Thanks for coming by to check out another video. So I purchased that big, huge score yesterday of comic books and Dungeons and Dragons books and DVDs and role-playing games and all sorts of stuff. If you didn't get to see that, I'll link to it at the end of this video. But the problem is there's so much. I mean, the whole entire car is filled with it that I need a place to store it and I can't put it all inside the house. So I'm gonna put it in the garage, but it's winter time and the floor is wet and I don't just wanna put a tarp over it, I wanna put something more solid. So I thought of getting some pallets. Now the place that normally gives free pallets, which is a pool and spa place nearby, they don't have those for free until the, um, in fact, they don't even have any at all until the summertime. So I tried calling the local grocery store. They don't have any that they sell or give away. So I called my local Ace Hardware, which is actually the closest place to me to go get something from anyway. They're right down the road. So they have them for two bucks a piece. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna pick some pallets out and then I'm gonna uh, lay them out and we're gonna get everything stacked up on top of there. So just showing you this as an organization solution, if you ever run into a similar issue, you don't wanna put all those boxes right down on the, on the floor cause they are gonna get wet and things could soak through uh, tarp sometimes. So you gotta be careful, depends how much, uh, how much snow and how dirty and how wet it is. You wanna make sure you have it as protected as possible, especially if you're gonna invest all that time and money in it like I did you want to be extra extra careful so let's go take a look at these pallets these are the stacks of pallets and I'm just gonna uh, pick some here try to get some that are relatively dry don't have a ton of snow on it and I'll bring it back two should be good enough so that's what I'm gonna aim for here pick out two of these babies all right here we go we've got two of them loaded up so uh, this should be sufficient if not I could always come back and get more but this should do it, so get them in the garage and start loading things up. All right, so I've got the pallets lined up right here and I'm gonna start stacking things up. That's a stack from yesterday and there's stuff even behind that. But uh, once I get everything laid out here, I'm gonna show you what it all looks like. And uh, you know, this is just the beginning stages of processing. So uh, I'll turn this back on once everything's all situated. All right, everyone, so it looks like two pallets was a good amount. Uh, I've got most of it laid out here on the two pallets. There's some stuff behind it, which I'll show you. Uh, I could have put everything and piled it right on top on one pallet, but I really wanna avoid stacking a lot of this stuff on top because unlike my white comic boxes back there, which are nice and sturdy and designed for being stacked, these boxes really aren't, so I wanna minimize crushing as much as possible. So um, a lot of this stuff is one level, but there's some lighter things I've stacked up top, like these DVDs. Now there's, you know, really just some cool stuff here, like this Wonder Woman DVD collection, sealed. Uh, it's hard to find it sealed. You can find it pre-owned, but sealed goes for 40 bucks, uh, and that's a completed sale price, and there was only one of those available recently. So a lot of stuff is sealed with the DVDs. Um, I've moved uh, some stuff back here, and what's gonna happen is the, the mission is really to consolidate as much of this stuff as possible and start getting it off of these pallets and start moving it over to regular storage area. I did a little bit of that last night. Like you can see back here, I already moved. There was prior inventory here, which I consolidated into other places. And so now this is stuff from that collection that I bought last night. Uh, so is this and so is uh, this. Look at how many of these DVDs are sealed. I mean, it's just crazy. It's awesome. So uh, a lot of this uh, stuff uh, in terms of DVDs, I'm gonna try to move into this bin here. There's nothing in there right now, but I'm gonna try to move stuff in there. Uh, you can just see all these old uh, role-playing game books and it's just crazy. So uh, all this stuff too is part of it. So that's everything. Everything you see here, you know, those three, this stuff here, this stuff here, and everything on this pallet. So uh, two pallets. So uh, that's what we got for now, and uh, I'm looking forward now to get into actually processing and start getting this stuff listed as soon as possible, because I want to start getting this stuff on the market. If you see anything you like, uh, reach out to me, and um, you know we could try to make a, a deal uh, off of uh, eBay, as long as it's not listed on eBay. If it's listed on eBay, I got to sell it on eBay, but uh, if it's not already listed, then it's fair game. All right, well, I will... Uh, do some more work here and turn this back on a little bit later. 
All right, well, where the heck am I now, you're wondering? Well, I'm at a vintage and modern sale. I went to this last year. I actually filmed it last year around this time, did a video when I went to this. Um, it's the first day of it. It goes for three days. And last year I went right at the end of the day. This time I got a little more time to spare. And so I'm gonna go in there, see what I could find. It's a little tight quarters in there. I'm not sure if I'll be able to put the camera on, but uh, if not, I'll just uh, bring out what I find and show it to you there. So I'm gonna go in and uh, see what I could get. Well, this is a good start, uh, especially after the Dungeons and Dragons stuff that I found yesterday. And I love to get Smurf stuff. So these are <laughs> folders. And even though this has some damage on it, uh, people still get it because it's vintage and I could just combine it with the stuff that I got yesterday. So we got this, this one, this one, nice little lot. So it's a good start. And uh, another good thing on this is the age in the 1980s. So this one's 81. I always say to look out for TSR. So as you can see here, these are also 80s. So very happy. Nice set. Hey, look. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Now, these types of magazines are great if you could pick them up, but you gotta be careful what condition. Now, this originally was in this bag and board, but I took it out because you wanna look inside before purchasing. Now, while these little dings over here are okay, that won't take away from selling it. What is a problem is when you open it up inside, you're gonna see this. And that is pretty much gonna ruin the value of it. So, it's, uh, I'm gonna have to pass because of that. Okay, now this is very interesting what's under the folders. Look at this. We've got some Kurt Cobain Novana pictures. Really nice, I mean, guaranteed seller for a buck for the two pictures. Plus, these are the mini comic books I've told you all about that started me into reading comics. This right here. Not this exact one, but these types. They came in the back of the He-Man uh, figures, and that's what got me started back in the day. Okay, so speaking of comics, here's an old comic book, and um, you know, you gotta pass on ones like this that have the, um, these chips that are this significant and the spines that are just coming off because it's just not gonna be valuable. Uh, that's a problem. The only way you'd pick something like this up if it was, you know, a super valuable book or if it was a 10 cent issue. So a golden age book. But this one isn't 25 center. Got to pass on it. Plus, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, not that valuable of a book. Just as another pointer, always make sure you're checking the spines of the books. And I generally stay away from cookbooks, but this would have been a good one from 1906. Problem is, the spine is separated, so you gotta be careful. But just so you could see inside, uh, there's some cool pictures in here. Um, there's some color ones, like this. You know, really neat book. But again, with a separated spine, no one's gonna want it. Not only that, you could also see it separating here too, so that's also a problem. Okay, so these old military books that were put out by the U.S. government are hit or miss. Uh, if you could lot them together into things that have a similar theme, then I suggest getting them. So these I'm going to pick up for a buck a piece, and they do sell. Um, you know, usually prices on these things like ten to twenty bucks a piece. Someone's trying to sell this one for a hundred dollars, which is ridiculous. It will never sell for that price, but I could lot it together. Uh, with these, which are from around the same time frame, 1967, 1968, 1967. So pick up a small little lot of these military books. Just giving you a little sense of what's in here. If you're wondering why I'm not picking up these toys, it's just because the prices are too high. I focus on the books when I come here. I'll peek at this other stuff, but usually it's priced too high. The money's in the books. 
This is a really cool record set um, in terms of the theme and everything and the art. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of them around and supply and demand. There's just um, not much value in it. Uh, right now you can find these for 15 bucks easy. So uh, I'm just gonna pass on it, but it looks really cool. Hey, look what we have back here. Sealed VCR tapes. I was just talking about that, the VHS tapes. So definitely gonna get that. Now what's in here, I am not even gonna show you because you really have to have some standards sometimes in terms of what you're gonna sell. And the stuff that's inside of here, these are torture tapes. They're really explicit. Um, really violent against women. Uh, it's just absolutely crazy. I can't even believe these things are here. But uh, this is the type of stuff where you gotta draw a line and uh, for me, not reselling that stuff. All right, so we're out of there. Uh, wound up getting some great things. Just to sum up what I wound up pulling out of there. Um, can't believe I got this nice uh, Kurt Cobain right here. So I got that double-sided. Uh, got all those Smurf folders. I got the Dungeons and Dragons one as well. So very happy with that. Uh, I wound up getting all three of those military books that I showed you. So gonna theme those up and lot those together. Uh, and all those uh, VHS tapes as well. They're all here. So there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's pretty good. And the He-Man comic book, which is just really cool, love getting those. And total price for everything, wound up, but just looking for my receipt. Total price for everything, uh, $15, if you could see that. So 15 bucks, very happy. You know, I'll make that back real easily off just probably one sale on some of this stuff. So. Um, if you're wondering why I went and did this, even though I just had that massive haul yesterday, the reason is because I love it and I have fun doing it and I love hunting for stuff. I mean, that's uh, main reason why I call myself the primetime treasure hunter. I love hunting for things and I can't, I just, I mean, I could, but I can't sit there at home knowing there's these sales going on where there's stuff that I could uh, that I could get and I could get it cheap and I could flip it uh, pretty quickly. So I just gotta work on turning over the inventory faster and I've made some improvements with that this year and I'm gonna continue to try to improve that process and essentially I'm gonna be forced to because you know you get to a point where if you have too much stuff you literally just can't buy anything else because you know you just don't have space. So it requires being creative and coming up with efficient strategies to get stuff out faster. So I'm gonna just keep working on that and um, you know get this stuff uh, get this stuff up and get it sold. So that is it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Got a lot of stuff going on. It's been a crazy day, folks. 7,000 members reached in my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. We have our uh, sellers supporting Sellerthon going on today, where sellers support other sellers by making purchases from one another. And uh, it's just great. I mean, if you participate in it, you are going to make a sale at some point. In fact, you're likely gonna make multiple sales. So it's to everyone's benefit to be part of it. It just really supports the reselling community. It's the fifth one we've had. We've had we have it on the first Friday of every month. That's been the tradition. So it's an exciting time. Come by. Uh, you're gonna miss this one by the time this comes up, but you'll be there for the next one if you if you come on by. If you're not a member, so that's right down below. We've got the link. Also, uh, very happy with the way this channel is going because we hit uh, 3,000 subscribers today. So I want to thank all of you, old and new, longtime prime timers, brand new prime timers, middle of the road prime timers. I am just very happy to have all you on board, and this channel just continues to grow in exciting ways, and I'm looking forward uh, forwards to seeing what's going to happen over the next uh, 1,000 subscribers. Uh, big news that there's the Rally Roots interview that I'm going to be doing. That's Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So do not miss that. We're going to have them for a half an hour, and then we're going to do Q&A with me for half an hour afterwards. So that's going to be a fun time as well. 
Uh, I got a lot of stuff going on at the um, at the Instagram channel. So that's at prime underscore time underscore treasure. So come by, check that out as well. And uh, I just have so much content I have to put out. I might have to start putting out multiple videos a day to get it all out. So anyway, uh, crazy times, fun times. Thanks for being a part of it. A very beautiful sight to come home to. I'm not intimidated by that work one bit. I love it and I can't wait to dive into it.